Today we're going to make farmable bedrock, okay? So pretend that this block is not dirt, instead it's obsidian. Stop, stop. What you gotta do is you gotta drop an anvil on it. This is obsidian. You gotta drop an anvil on it. I don't know. Drop a bunch of anvils on it, maybe drop it from like world height. You just gotta drop the anvil on the obsidian high enough so that it creates the bedrock. I'm thinking there's probably an event when an entity lands. Okay, yeah, let's try this. This might be it. I'm gonna say, uh, falling block, we woo. Um, let's do that. Haha, <laughs> falling block, wee woo, there it is. So now that we can listen in on the falling event, I need to figure out what the block was, how far it's fallen, and what block is beneath it when it lands. So what type of block is falling? That's how we're gonna get it. This line right here. In fact, let me check if tight. We only want the anvils, right? Anvil. Let's add these suckers to a data structure and track how far they've fallen. How far they've fallen. We are going to initialize a hash map. And it's going to be a UUID location. When a block begins to fall, we need to now add it to this hash map. I'm not good at typing. So let's get location, get location, that's perfect. Once it stops falling, we need to calculate how far it fell. So using the hash map, we get the initial location and now that it has stopped falling, we get the final location. Now what we need to do is subtract the two and that's gonna be our distance. I'm assuming that when something falls, that it always goes down but my code will break if something falls upward, potentially. It might go bad. Oh. Nice, check it, 64 blocks. Now that we can detect how far it's fallen, we need to figure out what type of block it's landed on. So essentially, we are going to get the final location, add a vector of negative one in the Y, and get that block. So we need to check if the block that it landed on was obsidian. And if it is, then we're gonna turn it into bedrock. Can I set type? I can. Material.bedrock. Let's do it. If I just place it, it won't, it won't do the thing. So that's great. It must fall. This could be a moment of truth. Boom! Did you see that? That's a bedrock block right there. So now that we have this, let's make some like height requirements. I'm thinking you're gonna have to drop multiple anvils on it. We're going to set metadata to track how many meters anvils have fallen on it. Anvil fallen distance. We accumulate how far every anvil has ever landed on this piece of obsidian, and once that exceeds 1,024, then we're going to set it to bedrock. I'm literally gonna dig straight down. Everybody says don't do it. I'm doing it. Bada bing. We're falling with it, y'all. Woo, swoop. And it's only mildly chipped. That was from dang near build height. If we calculate, that was over 300. So I need to do that like three more times. Let's try it, see if this works. Wow, wee! Nice. Okay, hang on. Let's do it again. No way it did it! It worked! It took three tries, probably because I've dropped a few things on it already. Well, I think that's all. I think that's all I got today. Please join me next stream, folks on YouTube. Thanks for joining y'all, I appreciate it.